message come message before me and say they want to hear it. They want to hear about that jerk chicken today when I hear about some fried chicken. And I said to them, okay, that's no worry. You can talk about fried chicken. So guys, if you want to be live on the show with Shuffle Card at this moment, we're going to talk about fried chicken. Jamaican fried chicken, yes. But um, at the moment, on the topic, we have um, curry chicken. So let's talk a little bit about the curry chicken. I mean, we love curry chicken, and then there's a lot of people back home in the Caribbean do love chicken, curry chicken special. And in the UK, also people do love curry chicken. And guys, to be honest, I love my curry chicken, and I'm always eating my curry chicken special this time of the year. I love curry chicken summertime and um, winter time. It is also good for you to have curry chicken. Um, someone just did message me a while ago and said to me, um, Chef Ricardo, we, we missed your program this morning. But um, if you missed the program, remember, as I said before, we have a lot more program which is going to come up, which also you can, you're going to hear about a lot more stuff. This is just like, as I said before, this is just a tip of the iceberg, guys. There's a lot more stuff to come. We are talking about curry chicken. What do you think about curry chicken? Basically, we want to go into some further details because um, a lot of people don't know. You need to follow me like on social network a lot. If, you're not, if you don't start following me, you need to start following me. At the moment, you need to go on my YouTube channel and look for Chef Ricardo cooking. That's, what I need. that's, that's the key point, the Chef Ricardo cooking. Um, if not, also, you can, you can look also on Twitter at Chef Ricardo with an S at the end. Or you can Instagram me with Chef Ricardo Cooking. I got a Facebook page, which is Chef Ricardo Cooking. I got a like page, and also Chef Ricardo Cooking. Um, today we want to talk about curry chicken. Do you love curry chicken? Please, guys, write it below in the comments box. That's we can know what we have a lot of people log on at the moment watching the program. So if you missed the program this morning, welcome back with Chef Ricardo Cooking program. We're gonna talk about curry chicken because today I was in town and someone saw me and said Chef Ricardo I was watching your program this morning it was brilliant talking about Jamaican jerk chicken and I said no I mean I just did it because you know what I mean it takes a little time but I, I did it you know I mean um, I just make the time and say you know what I need to talk to some of these guys about some, something different you know, it's just something different for the YouTube channel um, you know I mean, basically going worldwide international and um, I want to say, I'm from the Caribbean. I was born in Jamaica, but you know what I mean? I'm in, in the UK at the moment. And I want to say something to you guys. Please, stay tuned. And we're going to talk about Jamaican curry chicken. Do you love Jamaican curry chicken? Please write it. You know what I mean? Right now, up. Um, you know what I mean? Thank you so much, guys. You know what I mean? Say that she love her cooking. She love cooking. Um, thank you so much. Do you love curry chicken? Yes or no? I need to know. It, I, me, I love my curry chicken, and um, basically I have a lot of video on my YouTube channel tell you about curry chicken. Curry chicken is amazing. You know what I mean? Um, I want to simply say to you, if you never, never try curry chicken, please, guys, try it. It is one of the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dish you can ever think of. Um, almost people do their curry chicken. You know, um, I'm going to give you a little tips on curry chicken. Let me give you a little tips on curry chicken. One of the best, 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 best way. Thank you so much, guys. You just keep sending those requests. We love you and we appreciate it. Yes, someone said, yes, I love my curry chicken. Thank you so much. I want to simply say to you, do, do you know that the best way how to make curry chicken? And I'm going to show you. My idea and a little tips on how I make my curry chicken in my kitchen. And you can do the same thing at home. At the moment, we have a lot of people locked down watching the program. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. And I'm going to give you a little tips and a little idea of how you can do your curry chicken at home. Hopefully, you will understand because I'm from the Caribbean and I talk a little bit fast. But, you know, I mean, I'm going to slow down there so you guys can understand me. Anyway, thank you so much to log on on the program. Welcome to Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. Who just logged on? Welcome. We appreciate you logging on and listening to me live. Um, today we want to say curry chicken, or you can prepare curry chicken at home 
is the best way. It's, you, it's the way all you do it. All you do your curry chicken at home, I don't know. But I'm going to show you, and I'm going to, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you how you can do your curry chicken at home. When you're making a Jamaican curry chicken, this morning we was talking about the earlier this morning, how you can prepare your curry chicken. But we're going to talk about how you can prepare curry chicken at home. The best, best, best of the best. And I'm telling you, this is the number one way. The number one way. And we, if you want me to talk about anything, because the show going to go on for a little while. If you want me to talk about anything, please, guys, write it below, and I can read it, and you know what I mean? Um, if you want to look after one of the best curry chicken in this whole wide world, how are you going to do it? It's this way. You go to the local shop, the meat shop, and you buy some chicken. You come home with the chicken, and when you come home with the chicken, you might say to yourself, oh, yes, I remember, um, you know, Today I was in town and a guy said to me, said, Oh, Chef Ricardo, is your name Chef Ricardo? And I said, Yeah. And he said to me, said, um, He was watching my cooking program the other day, how to do um, fried chicken. And he said, He, he searched YouTube and I made the first person come up about his fried chicken and he did love the recipe and he leave a comment. You know what I mean? And as I always said before in my video, then if you're doing something, guys, someone might write things about you. Don't worry yourself. You know what I mean? You just keep doing what you have to do. You know, because YouTube said, If you have your idea, why not share it to the world? That's what YouTube said. And I said the same thing. If you have your idea, you share it to the world. But to prepare a nice, lovely curry chicken at home in your kitchen, or if you watch my video on YouTube, you can do the same thing and you can make it the same way at home, is when you go to the shop, please, please guys, buy your chicken and tell them you want it to cut up very small into curry style. Yeah? Curry style. That's what we're talking about. Curry chicken. When you get it cut up into curry style, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna bring it home. We all know that in England they're always talking about day theory, about oh you're not supposed to wash meat and bring a lot of germs and a lot of bacteria and splash it on the wall. I'm from the car, then I always wash my meat. I always wash chicken. From you know my from the day I born till today, I've been washing my meat with lemon juice and with white vinegar, and I never have any problem. Nothing never happened to me. And to be honest, um, <laughs> Chef, Chef, why will you be making a recipe for Jamaican sari? Yes, we're gonna make Jamaican recipe. I got it on my YouTube channel. To be honest, you know, guys, you know what I mean. If you search down, you will see that video on my YouTube channel about Jamaican sari because every every Christmas we do normally make that. You know what I mean. We're going to make that for you anyway. If you want me to make it for you, I can make it for you. I can get that and buy it. I can get the sari tomorrow. But the only problem in England, we do not get the, the dry sari. I don't know about in town like Brixton and those places. But where I live, I can get like the, the proper green sari like when you're back in the Caribbean. Oh, man. Oh, my days. When you're in the Caribbean and you can... Uh, you're, all right, let's, let's cut the curry chicken story in a short bit and let's touch on the sari because someone does talk about sari. Um, yes, definitely, I'm going to make that sari for you. When you're in the Caribbean and, you know what I mean, Christmas, I remember back, way back in the days, people used to go get sari only one time a year. <laughs> no, no, Christmas. But now, you're getting sari right straight through the ear. So sari is growing right straight through the ear now. So things and times and everything change. But what I want to simply say to you, when you're in the Caribbean and you can go with your grandmother to the bush, especially at Christmas time, when you go in the bush, in the bush and you cut sorry and you bring it home, especially if your grandmother is going to make that, they are the best people to make sorry drink, your grandmother. If you live in England or you live in a foreign country, you know, I mean, America or somewhere, I don't know where you might live, but I'm telling you, please make your grandmother make sari for you. I think it is the Caribbean thing, washing your meat. Um, well, um, <laughs> yes, I think it's a Caribbean. Well, I've, my grandmother been washing meat. I come back, come see my grandmother washing meat, my father washing meat, my mother washing meat, and I never see anything wrong. But to be honest, guys, I'm living in London, and I, you know what I mean? I do a lot of study about when it comes to food, you know what I mean? 
I got so many surfing tickets. I got so many um, food hygiene surfing tickets and they come to about food. And one of the most important things which they do teach you about chicken, douche, do not wash your meat. But, well, if you, <laughs> to be honest, I'm from the Caribbean, and as I say, yes, it is a Caribbean thing washing your meat. Yes, it's a Caribbean thing, but I come back from see my grandmother, my father, my granddad, my sister, my brother, everybody washing chicken. And I never see any or anything happen to any one of them up to till today. So, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm being washing my meat where I live and I don't have any problem. All I do when I wash my meat, I normally use either lemon or white vinegar. Make sure you pack away your dishes then, pack away your plate. That's no meat, water, don't splash on them on your plate and uh, bring any bacteria and any germs. So what you do, you make sure your area is very clean when you're gonna pack away, when you're gonna do your meat, when you wanna wash your meat. Make sure you get a separate bowl for your meat, which is very important in your kitchen. You should have a bowl specific for wash meat and to prepare your meat into. Um, and also, it is good for you to have like a cotton board just for meat. You can use one cotton board cutting raw meat cook meat, everything, no. It's good for you to have the red and yellow cotton board. And that's why I say, I love this show. You know the reason why? I'm gonna talk about a lot of stuff on the show where you guys gonna say you appreciate it, you know what I mean? And as I say, it is a Caribbean thing, washing meat. Well, yes, it's a Caribbean thing, but as I said before, I saw my grandmother been doing it for years, and my father, my mom, my whole family been doing it for years, and I come and I have it the same thing, and I don't see anything wrong. But Wherever I can do that. When I get chicken, I put it straight inside of the oven. Um, but we, we're still on the topic of curry chicken, but you know what I mean? Because some people being writing stuff, so you have to, you know what I mean, adjust what they are saying. Um, yes, but where I work, we don't wash meat. And I don't see anything wrong now. That, so it's just, as you say, you can be right. It's a Caribbean thing. So you know what I mean? Can you tell me if you wash your meat at home? Yes, I know. I don't know. Okay? Um, you write in the description box and, and, and tell me if you do wash your meat at home. Because, you know what I mean? Chef, where did you learn all your recipe? Okay. To be honest, where did I learn all my recipe? To be honest, guys, back in Jamaica, where I'm from, I, um, I grew up in a community and I work around a lot of hotel back in Jamaica. To be honest, guys, when I was in Jamaica, I remember those days when I used to work in the hotel industry in Jamaica. Oh my days, that was one of the most beautiful time. Yes, yes, with lemon. Yeah, 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 it's good to use lemon. We do think it is, okay. <laughs> but, um, Yes, um, we not, back in the car, and that's what we use. We use lemon juice. And to be honest, you know, I'm gonna share another idea with you guys. Remember that you can go on my website, you can go on my YouTube channel, and also, also you can, you can send loose. Okay, Lucy. All right. Okay, that's good, man. Um, basically, you can go on my youtube channel you can see all of these in stuff you know in auto wash meat auto prepare meat i did do some video clipping about those things because i work you know what i mean when you work in certain environment you learn a lot of stuff you know what i mean but to be honest as the person cracks me up though with said is eating is a caribbean thing washing your meat um but the question i was i want to say to her i say to the person that did you wash your meat? Well, if you wash your meat, yes or no? Just please let us know. And you know what I mean? Just let's adjust the problem right there. Um, uh, yeah, we wash our meat, yes? But I want to say something, you know. You know, the other day I was talking to someone and they said to me, they wash their meat with salt. And I was surprised. Salt. Um, do you know that water do got salt? A lot of people don't know that. Um, I've been working in where work. I don't use salt over the last probably more three, four years now. I don't use salt. We don't cook with salt. You know what I mean? But um, it's a Jamaican thing again. It's a Caribbean thing. A lot of, you know what I mean? Most people in the Caribbean do use salt. I'm from the Caribbean and I used to cook with salt. Um, but now 
Try not cooking with salt over the last three, four years. Salt coming like nothing to me. You understand? I, 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 I think that salt. You know what I mean? I don't cook with salt, but you know what I mean. If you wanna add salt to your pot, you can add salt to your pot, guys. Uh, but someone tell me the other day when they're washing their meat, they use salt to wash their meat, and they write it on my YouTube channel too. So you know what I mean. You can every day you learn something new that wish that is really good. And I'm happy that, you know what I mean, you're learning. So, but, you know what I mean, we, we, start, we start the topic of Jamaican curry chicken. Now we got for another topic about washing meat. But anyway, we want to have just a problem. But I was saying, um, uh, the curry, the, 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 the washing your meat at home, basically we want to simply say to you, you have to just be careful when you're washing your meat because... When you're washing your meat, you know what I mean? There's a lot of things that uh, keep splashing, you know? You have to make sure you sanitize your ear, clean up your ear, make sure you got supper cup, cotton board, and all these things. So it's very important to learn, and you never can too old to learn, and you can never too old to share things to learn. Sometime when I make a video and put it on my YouTube channel, someone write and said, um, Chef Ricardo, oh, I might not gonna subscribe to your channel, or, you know what I mean? No, you don't do that. You know why? You need to try the recipe before you do that. Can you never try the recipe? When you when you make certain kind of recipe and you learn some certain things, it is good to share it. And I always want to share a things. Things, you know what I mean? Um, I yeah, I I, I love of seasoning in New Zealand. Okay, so therefore there is no need to add your cooking. Okay, yeah. Um. <laughs> That's good still, right? Anyway, but as we say, we're talking about washing meat. Let's get the meat correct. You know what I mean? Because they said, this is what they said. Right? Um, Chef, where did you learn all your recipe? Um, I didn't, I didn't correct that part. I need to correct that part for you guys. Where did I learn my recipe? When I was in Jamaica, um, I worked in the hotel industry for uh, quite a few as well probably about almost seven years eight years in the hotel industry <clears throat> sorry um i learned a lot of stuff i learned so many things guys this is what i'm doing on the youtube channel is nothing yet and that's what i'm saying there's a lot more to come yeah sometimes i use salt if i forgot to buy lemon or vinegar that's what I'm saying. And I love these things. When people write things, you can learn. You know what I mean? There's so many people in this world don't know that you can do wash salt. Use salt to wash your meat at home. Sorry, guys. And I want to say thank you so much for, for, for that comment. You know what I mean? Sometimes I use salt if I forgot to buy my vinegar. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of people being listening to me right now at the moment. And you know what I mean? And a lot of people being seen what's going on at the moment. So it is very important for us to learn. And you can, sh you know what happened? I, like, I just like these things. And I mean, you can share your idea with me. And I'm, I'm happy that I'm learning from you guys. It's brilliant. And I love it. You know what I mean? It's, it, I love my cooking show. And I love my cooking program. And you know what I mean? I share things to the world to show people that they can do some simple little things that make your family happy. Yeah. Um, so basically, back in the hotel where I used to work, I worked probably about seven eight years in the hotel, roughly, and I learned so many things in the hotel. I used to work around some big top chef and celebrity chef. I made people all over the world, all kind of people, all kind of nation, all kind of... And this morning in my topic, um, I was, we were talking about all oh, some people from India, China, eating Jamaican jerk chicken. Which they don't even know about Jamaican jerk chicken and they love it. They love Jamaican jerk chicken. We were talking about this morning on the, on the show. We have about 25,000 people log out of the show this morning. There's a lot of people missed the show this morning. A lot of texts was coming in. My phone was ringing. You know what I mean? I got people from even from China was saying, Yes, I've been to Jamaica and I eat Jamaican jerk chicken. Why? Jamaican jerk chicken is the best of the best. We are the first country upon this planet come with this idea of Jamaican jerk chicken. If you think I like, um, guys, if you think I'm telling like, please correct me because, you know what I mean, and my research, what I did, 
that's where jerk chicken is the first country we come from. Jamaica is a small island, very small island, but we are mighty and powerful. And we are the first people upon this planet come with the idea of doing jerk chicken in the jump pan. Which is brilliant. I don't know where you're from, you know what I mean? If you're from a different country, well, where you're talking to me, um, let, let me know, you know what I mean? Let's get things correct up and right. But this morning we was talking about Jamaican jerk chicken where um, a lot of people love it. But guys, I want to say we love what you're saying at the moment and the, and the show, which is really brilliant. And let me see. Okay. We want to finish up this curry chicken. Guys, you know what I mean? We didn't finish up the curry chicken. You end up washing meat. You end up when you learn a recipe. You end up when you use lemon vinegar. So that's good still, you know what I mean? That's because there's a lot of people being listening and a lot of people being want to learn. And you never can too old to learn. So at the moment, please remember, visit my website at chefricottercooking.com. You can win a cookbook. Um, sign up on my website for free. Remember, someone did write something about my cooking book on Amazon. You know what I mean? Um, these are the things which people don't know. And, you know what I mean? When they see someone trying, you know what I mean? You don't, you, you don't try, to, try to make them feel dumb. Especially, you know what I mean? And I'm telling you, I can, every time when someone do something, I can tell you where they're writing it from, where they're from, where they're doing this, where they're doing that. Because YouTube set up the system like that's where you know where everything been happening on your own wide world. If someone write me a comments, I can tell the way it's coming from, where where it's on, which country, which house I can Google the map where it's from. So you know what I mean these things. But I'm saying I'll never go on someone's profile and just write certain things to you know I mean random them or condemn. No, I will never do that because I have the love in my heart for everyone, and you know what I mean. Sometimes people write things on my YouTube channel. I still love them and we still cook food. We still want them to watch the video. We're not unsubscribe them. People are saying unsubscribe and we say no. But there's better to come. You know what I mean? This is just like a tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more video to come. There's a lot more stuff need to be done. There's a lot more things need to be correct. You know what I mean? You can never too old to learn. Um, so if, you make, if I make a recipe, I'll put it on my YouTube channel and say, this is what I learned. Like the other day, I make um, this sandwich. Um, this I make a sandwich the other day, which is bacon and cheese and egg. Oh, someone might write and say, "Oh, I want to unsubscribe to your YouTube channel. And you want to do this? You want to do that?" Chef Ricardo, no, I don't intend. You don't want to learn that. You're not gonna learn something we don't try it. When I go to certain restaurant and I'm I went to a restaurant up London the other day and the guy looked at me and said, Chef Ricardo, I know you. I know you, Ricardo. I know you. Oh my God, oh my God, I need to serve this man, man. I know this man. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a chef. You have a program on YouTube. And I was saying, you know what I mean? The guy, I said, well, can I see your menu? And I look at the menu and enough of the stuff is on it. He's, he's Jamaican, still ackee and selfish, colorful, fried dumpling. You would never believe you would go into such an era and see such a kind of food like this. Yeah? I'm just simply saying that you can never all too old to learn. No matter what you're doing. You can always learn something every day, every hour, every second. I cook every day. I cook big food, big bake. We bake, we do everything. I cook pack two amount of pasta which I cook in my own entire life, you can tell. The amount of spaghetti bolognese I make in my own entire life is more than tongue can tell. So I cook every day guys. And when I go a certain place and I order a certain kind of meal and I look at it, I can go and twist it and but it's the same meal. And so let's share this to someone who never did this before, who never see this before. Um, I got people from uh, China, India, I'm German. People from all over the world who sending me message on my YouTube channel say, Chef Ricardo, we don't speak English, but we love watching your program. We love your food, and we watch it, and we learn how to make it. Then you know what they do? Then translate it into the English, into their language, and learn it. So we appreciate all of those people who are doing that at the moment. So you know, say, good things is going on, and there is good things happening.
Um, as I said this morning, if you have something where you want to do, what age did I start cook from? Well, I, suppose I give you a little story. Don't laugh off, look, don't laugh at the chef Ricardo, please. I I remember when I was back in Jamaica and my I I'll never forget this. My my I, I grew up my grandmother, my father, my mom a lot. One day my grandmother was up up in that bush, live up in that bush back in Jamaica. Way back when. And one day my 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 grandmother cooked some red pea soup. I'll never forget. Jamaica, you know, Jamaican red pea soup. I you know so when your grandmother make Jamaican red pea soup, is the best. Those time I was probably about seven, eight year old. And I watch my grandmother and the pot turn over and catch me right on my stomach. And I still have those scars on my stomach at the moment. And I will never forget that. And from that day till today, I just take cooking seriously on the next level. I end up going to heart in Jamaica and learn. Uh, if any one of you guys ever been to heart, if you're a cook or a chef, I don't know, at the program, please tell me. If you go to heart in Jamaica, and cook at hard school i'm telling you you will come out as a top 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 chef and you will come out as the best chef i go to art and i study there and i have my surfing ticket at the moment and you know i mean it's just brilliant so at the age i will say when i take my cooking thing my cooking skill at a next level probably roughly said 13 14 when i was you know i mean getting to the groove of cooking and then I end up go to heart. And then I mean, after I got finished school, I end up go to heart. And then I start to work in the hotel industry. When I remember when I start to work, can I give you another drama, guys? Don't laugh at the chef of card, I know, please. When I start to work in the hotel industry, I remember I um start to to you know what I start to do? I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> I start to wash the pot down first. Is that funny? I start to wash pot. That's one of the first thing when I was in Jamaica working in the hotel industry. I remember that when the first time when I go to the hotel and I said to the guy, um, um, basically I want to start my 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 cooking. And the guy said to me, my 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 I'm looking at job and the guy said to me, so well, we have work, but the only thing you can have is to wash the pot then. And I said to him, <laughs> I laugh and I said it's, fu it's not funny you know I laugh and then said to him so that's alright you know what I mean because I was I was in school studying at the same time and I mean in cotton in heart you know what I mean and it is not funny I start start 10 okay that's alright started at 10 yeah I'm happy for you you know what I mean and if you if you if on your YouTube channel as, as I say you know what I mean I'm gonna um Basically, I can, uh, let me say if I subscribe to you, if I subscribe to you, please, I'm going to subscribe to your channel, guys. You know what I mean? I, I love these things. So, you know what I mean? Um, I'm going to subscribe to you. Hopefully, I will make it 12 and you're, and you're um, subscribing. Um, so, that's nice. And if you start at 10, please, you know what I mean? If you have an idea which you want to build a platform, please do it, you know what I mean, don't shy, don't fray, don't, you know what I mean, people might write things on your YouTube channel, but YouTube saying his own vision and his own things, if you have an idea, why not share it to the world, if you even want to come on and, and, you know what I mean, cook some pasta and show people that you want to learn how to cook pasta, you know what I mean, yeah, um, it's, it's just fine, you know what I mean, you're still, you're, you're still doing something and you're still sharing your idea. Please, guys, if you do not subscribe to Chef Ricardo YouTube channel, I'm asking you to subscribe now because, you know what I mean, you have the opportunity to stay tuned. That means next time when I start my program, you will be live on the show. Uh, so, because we have a lot of things which we want to talk about, you know what I mean? See, this is saying that we start at 10. That is really brilliant, you know what I mean? And to be honest, guys, I'm happy when someone taking the cooking thing on the next level. I talk to so many people. I just subscribed to your YouTube channel and hopefully you, you know what I mean, thank you for your, 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 your advice and what you are saying to me and I um, just appreciate it guys, it's just brilliant. I am going to buy the cooking book, um, yeah, thank you so much. Okay, if you want me to give you a little tips on the cooking book which I was talking before, um, you know, I'm 
we've been jumping all over different different things but we can talk about the cooking book for about five minutes part of it um what happened the cooking book is on amazon at the moment and the price is very cheap it's only 8.99 at the moment on amazon if you go and you buy the cooking book on amazon and you think it's a nice cooking book please leave your comments basically we are working at another cooking book because most of this recipe which i have on my youtube channel is gonna fill out the next cooking book but the next cooking book not gonna come out till five years time i'm really sorry guys but five years time we're not we're not rushing things we are working on, on good things so you're gonna go and buy my cooking book and i'm really appreciate it and if you like it please leave your comments and next time when i'm on the show please what you can do if you go on my youtube on my facebook page if you don't subs if you don't accept me as friend yet on my facebook page please go on my facebook page and please leave your comments and put up a post of the book um i'm gonna show you some things guys which i'm definitely want to do just give me a second um i'm basically i'm gonna give away a few things on the program which is gonna come up very soon because i have so many of them and we want to give away some of them they are some peeler and um, definitely we want to give away a few of them um here someone is ringing me up to ask me a few questions um let's see what's happening at the moment because we're live on the show hello hello yeah yeah i'm um i'm live at the moment on the show so what do you think about the whole system um you know what i mean and you know what i mean a lot of people like on the show at the moment and you can get the cooking book to buy it's on amazon and you know so do you enjoy the show at the moment Oh yeah, man, thank you so much, man. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. We're going to keep it going on some more. Um, a lot of people have been sending message questions and asking a few things, you know what I mean, which is just brilliant. Um, but we have a lot more stuff which is going to be coming out very soon. So stay tuned. And don't go nowhere, man. It's Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. Bye-bye, man. You look after yourself. Bye. Yes, we just get a call. Someone ring my phone said they're watching me and the show. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's what we're talking about. That's exactly what we are talking about. He said he love it. You know what I mean? And that's what we're talking about. Um, we don't even get the chance. Oh, yes, with the cooking book. We all want to say the cooking book is there. As you can see um, in the background, my banner is up at the moment saying Caribbean Cuisine Cooking Book is in, available at the moment on Amazon. Go online, type of Chef Recorder Cooking, and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And you also, one of the main things where you can do also, you can go on my Facebook page and send a friend request, or you can like my page, see if people seeing any more requests and message, say what they are saying at the moment, because can you, oh, <laughs> I don't see what it is saying at the moment, because there's so many things being happening at the moment. All right, can you? All right, okay, okay, that's all right, that's all right. All right, um, so many things happen at the moment. We have the phone, people being ringing at the phone, people being sending messages at the phone, that which is good, you know what I mean? All right, big up yourself. We need to do some, uh, okay, sweet, but all right, all right, that's all right, that's no worries. But we, we, we want to we finish up, talk about the curry chicken. We never get to finish the curry chicken. Do you guys want to hear the curry chicken? Just let Chef Ricardo know. How we need to finish up this steak video. <laughs> but I want to say, most of these videos, you know, we have them on the YouTube channel. There's a, quite a few videos on the YouTube channel. The only reason why I did put up so many videos on my YouTube channel, when you put up a lot of videos on your YouTube channel, you will be getting known on Google. And all right, I'm gonna give you an idea where you might learn. If you are listening to this, if you listen to my program, guys, listen very carefully. If you got a YouTube channel, just like myself right here, my my brand is Chef Ricardo Cooking. Okay. All right. What I wanna simply say to you, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. That's what uh, my plan, my card, my twelve. Thank you so much. Um. 
If you got a YouTube channel and you want to learn to cook Jamaican food, you can always go on my YouTube channel and watch some tips and ideas. All right. You want to, what I want to simply say to you, yeah? On my YouTube channel, that's my brand, Chef Ricardo Cooking. And you know what I mean? If you got a YouTube channel, you can make yourself a brand. And I will, you know what I mean? You subscribe to my channel and I will subscribe to you. I can go on your channel and watch some idea and get some idea and say, you know what? I could share with my friend on my YouTube channel and they can learn. You can do the same thing with my YouTube channel. Share my YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Write some comments. You know what I mean? Tell people, you know what I mean? And just cycle. You just work one another to one another and build a lovely platform. But as I said, we start the curry chicken and we end up going to different, different things. You know what I mean? Big up, you, you need to do some shoulder stick video. We're gonna do some, some video with that. That's, that's coming up soon, you know what I mean? We have a lot of things, you know. But remember, Chef Ricardo do work. You know what I mean? I have a full-time job. And I do, I'm doing, you know what I mean? Just filling the gap for you guys, doing all, you know what I mean? Doing these things. So it is really brilliant. Um, We also do charity stuff. And you know what I mean? I do charity stuff and I involve in a lot of charity. We are involved in a lot of young people life and all these things. What we want to do, and tell me if this is wrong. At the moment, we have a few people watching the program. But we know people keep logging on and going off, logging on and going off. But it's good to listen because you can learn something new. Um, uh, does Jamaican... Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Lost. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember when I used to make lobster back in Jamaica. To be honest, I make so much lobster in my whole entire life. The only reason why I didn't make it on my YouTube channel a couple of days ago is it was just ridiculous. The price, it was so expensive. And I said, you know, I look at it and I say, you know what I mean? I could do it for my fans and which, which is following me on YouTube. And my, my, I got a lot of fans on Facebook, Instagram. I have 11,000 fans on Facebook, which is following me at the moment. We could show them, say, this is the way you make last time. And next thing, if you don't subscribe, if you don't add me on your Instagram, please add me on your Instagram. It's very important. For you to add me on Instagram, guys. Um, but we, I'll, do you want me to make lobster for you? Just tell me. I will get it and make it for you. You know what I mean? Um, lobster, you have to know to make lobster. Sometimes you just get lobster, put it in a big pot and boil it. You know what I mean? You can, you know, boil it and bread. You can do curry lobster. And, um, it's different, different stuff you can also do. But we still didn't get the chance to finish off the curry chicken. We still drifted away from the curry chicken. We, sh we need to finish the curry chicken, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, I will make it for you. I promise I will make that lobster for you. And when I make that lobster for you, remember, you're going to go on my YouTube channel, you're going to share it, and you're going to tell people about my lobster we I make for you. I'm going to season up that pot with some water and chuck a big lobster in it for you, and you're going to love it. You're going to make it for your family, you're going to make it for your brother, your sister, your uncle, your auntie, tell your brother, tell your cousin, Denise, do you like lobster? Yes or no? Let me know. Because I love lobster. You know what I mean? Um, do you eat crab? I don't eat crab. <laughs> but, if you, but if you eat crab, um, I don't eat crab. But you, do you eat lobster? Oh. <laughs> alright, alright. Deal. Okay. That's the deal. Don't worry yourself. I'm going to make you a nice... Do you never have lobster soup? Lobster soup is good. Try lobster soup, you make me laugh. Oh my, <laughs> lobster soup is really good. Um, basically, we definitely gonna do that for you. We gonna get the lobster, but to be honest guys, we have to get the lobster when the price is reasonable. Because when the price is ridiculous, it doesn't you know what I mean, it's just a lot of money. You get lobster for 30, 40, 40 pound, oh, that's a lot of money. But we can do that, sir. We can do that for you guys. We will make it for you. And you're gonna happy, all right? So let's finish up the curry chicken because the time is running up, and you know, I mean, we get in there, and we have we have a lot more time can go. Um, it's just nine o'clock, and in London, um, I don't know where, which part of the world you are. So anyway, we're gonna do. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna definitely. All right, yep. Yeah. So we definitely gonna make you some. 
lobster, and to be honest, you guys are gonna love it. We're gonna talk about let's let's discuss curry chicken. The curry chicken is very important because we start the topic about curry chicken earlier and we never finish it up because we end up going into so many different things with other as people asking a few questions. Do you have any question which you want to ask me before I start the curry chicken? Please write it very quickly before I start the curry chicken because I'm gonna keep on with the curry chicken, guys. It's just brilliant. It's brilliant at the moment, you know. What I mean, we have few people locked on, but that's fine. We have a lot of people like it. Sorry, but do you think? So we're gonna start the curry chicken back. Let's start the curry chicken program back. Remember when I was saying about the curry chicken? When you do your curry chicken at home, you must always do this first. Make sure you marinate your chicken. Listen very carefully. Marinate your chicken with your season where you use in your kitchen. I don't know where you are at the moment. Look in your cupboard right now. There's some season inside of your bowl. <laughs> I know everyone of us always have season inside of our cupboard in a little tub with some, some season, your pepper is your the chicken season, all purpose season, and a little bit of season. So, this is good. Let's start the curry chicken. All right. Yes, we're going to start the curry chicken. Can you, can you tell me if you have any um, um season in your cupboard at the moment? Like chicken season, all purpose season, mixed spices, and uh, season. Which country at the moment? I'm going to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Let's see if you subscribe. Glory up, glory, glory, glory. This person just said, I know. Look. All right. Lovely. Um, remember, you know, subscribe to the YouTube channel, guys. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We want to keep in touch with you. We want, we want you know what I mean? Paris. All right. All right. All purpose seasoning. Okay. All right. That's good. That's the only season you have in your cupboard? Look again. I believe you got chicken season. Do you have chicken season? Or mixed spice? <laughs> Do you got do you got chicken season in it? I'm I'm <laughs> you must got chicken season. There's nowhere unheard to don't have chicken season in your cupboard. Yes, uh yes, chicken season. Um mix yes. What else again? Look again. Dry time. Um yeah, herbs, that's nice. Uh-huh. What about do you got garlic? Curry seasoning, yep. Herbs, curry seasoning. And um, do you got like onion, um, spring onion, thyme? Do you got spring onion and thyme? <laughs> Let me know if you got spring onion and thyme. Look in the fridge then. Okay, let's go in the fridge now. Cause so far, you're going on good so far. You got curry seasoning, you got a mixed seasoning, you got chicken seasoning, you got, you know what I mean, herbs. That's good so far. Um, Check and see if you have any um, in your fridge. If you have <laughs> carrot, potato, um, thyme, spring onion, or um, white onion. <laughs> All of those. Okay. All right. I'm, all right. Let's start the curry chicken now. We're going to start the curry chicken. Yeah? Because you have, this is what we're talking about. We're going to start the curry chicken. Let's go into business. All right. All right. We have all of those. All right. Um, type in the season curry, curry, garlic, onion, powder, uh, um, jai thai. All right, okay, lovely. So, you got all of those kind of season. All right, we're gonna start the curry chicken. Do you got a pot? Yes or no? What kind of pot you have? Because a lot of people love to cook with um, non stick pot, or some people like to use Dutch pot. Back in Jamaica, we use Dutch pot. Do you have Dutch pot in your kitchen? Yes or no? Let's let me know. If not, we still can start a curry chicken recipe. We're going to start it. Um, so, yes? <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> we love that. Okay, all right. You got uh, you got one. Okay. <laughs> all right, why well, you making me laugh? You're making my day. Anyway, I'm happy. We're going to start the curry chicken. Do so you got a stove? Yes or no? Or what do you want to make it at? Stove, or uh, you wanna uh, back in Jamaica, we cook outside in on the wood fire, or uh, you know, what I mean, <laughs> where did you get your own? Uh, 
red oh uh, red going in the meat oh, okay yes um <laughs> uh, we, all right yes all right Stuart yep all right all right yep lovely we keep them coming guys keep them coming yep keep them coming keep them coming guys we gonna know what me tell you what gonna happen no guess and tell me what gonna happen we gonna start the curry chicken now because as can to me see we have everything now and you know what i mean people keep sending stuff where they have you know what i mean so we're gonna start the curry chicken now let's start the curry chicken first thing when when you go to the butcher in england when we go to the meat shop we have so many other meat shop on london road bless you know what i mean bless a place in brixton you can find probably one million meat shop on london road so when you go to the meat shop do you like your chicken with skin on it yes or no please tell me guys come on you like your chicken with your skin on it or you like to take off the skin of your chicken i don't know when i'm cooking my chicken in my kitchen i never like to have the skin on it two things the skin is not good for you is not healthy for you all right someone said no i love that thank you so much i don't like my meat with skin on it all right you must always take off the skin of chicken that's the first thing when you go to the butcher she said to him so listen i want you to take off the chicken all right because you know why when you take off the chicken the skin of the chicken sorry the skin of the chicken it do help you a lot differently because the skin gonna cook out a lot of grease inside of the pot and you don't want a lot of grease inside of the pot okay you want when you're cooking the chicken you don't want to have a lot of grease because you know what i mean too much grease is not good for you it will rest on your heart all right so what we want to do now we're going to start telling you how to prepare curry chicken at home in your kitchen and today let me see what date today today's um today's date is what i don't know what the date today's date let's see today's date we know that today is supposed to be um the 18th of august and the 18th of August, Chef is going to show you how you can make curry chicken in your kitchen at home. We always, we have every, everything which they write on here at the moment, you know what I mean? But there's one thing left. Do you got any mango chutney? Yes or no? If you have mango chutney, please write it, guys. I need to know because this is going to go to our next level now, alright? Mango chutney. Yes or no? All right, no, no answer for manga chutney. Okay, all right. Let's go on with the curry chicken. When you're making curry chicken at home, all right, please, when you go to the meat shop, tell them you want to remove the skin, chop off the backbone. Oh no, oh no, all right, that's fine. You don't have to have manga chutney to put in your curry chicken, that's fine. You have none bread? <laughs> let's go to India, we're gonna go to India, all right. All right, let's cool it. Oh, I left it in the shop. All right. Um, can you order online? If you can order online, that's really good. You know what I mean? Can you make an order online and they can deliver it to your house? Like, you know what I mean? You know, Tesco do that in London. So, or, or Iceland. I left it in the shop. Oh, no. All right. What we're going to do, let's, let's kick off with the curry chicken. As I said before, when you go to the meat shop, yeah, let them know that you want the skin to remove from the chicken. And you would like to chop off the backbone where, you know what I mean, like the, 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 the heart bit is. You want to chop off that part, like the liver and those part. Then you don't like that to move. All right? When that part move, next thing, what you need to do, tell them you want to cut it up into a very small size, curry style. They have a way to call it curry style. You don't want to cut it too chunky. When, you, when you're using your wooden spoon in the pot, you just keep, you know what I mean, not storing the right and proper way. All right? Then next thing, when you go home, make sure you have a, sp a specific basin or a specific bowl or something where you normally wash your meat into. And what you do, wash your meat inside of that pan with either white vinegar, lemon juice. And as one of my good friend of mine on the YouTube channel said that they do use also uh, salt. But when you use salt, make sure you, you wash off the salt very carefully because it will be too much salt and your pot will be salt. And then you say, what's Chef Ricardo doing? 
my, 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 my curry chicken salt now. So, make sure you wash off the, the salt off of it. Very, very, very good. Um, basically, so you wash off your meat with the lemon juice, your white vinegar or your salt. So, what you need to do, please guys, when you wash off your meat, please sanitize it here. If you're going to wash it in that bowl with you, in that sink where you normally wash your, um, your, your, your plate and stuff, if you got plate in your plate sink or anything, please wash them first, pack away everything and let the place clean up first. All right? That's one of the first thing wash you're going to need to do. Then second thing, when you wash your meat and everything, make sure it drain out those water because you don't want too much water left inside of the bowl. So what you do, drain out the water and when you drain out the water, make sure you wash your hand. Cut up your seasoning and um, all of your bits and pieces like your spring onion, white onion, garlic, fresh thyme, spring onion, you know what I mean, your dry herb, your mixed herbs, your all kind of, you know what I mean, what you normally use. You do the two things you can ever do. You can either make a paste, which is really good. You can make a paste. Um, the paste, when you make a paste, it just makes totally different. The paste is totally different. It's paste is like, um, you can put some oil in a pot and get the curry and all of your season and mix it up together and make a curry paste. But if you don't want to do that, to be honest, you can simply put all of those seasoning and the curry chicken and mix it up into one. Make sure you got a, a, a fridge bag or a sealed container where you can put the chicken in and put it down for 24 hours before you cook it. But the most, the most important part of the curry chicken when you're gonna cook the curry chicken is make sure you always do this, guys. It's very important. And to be honest, when you're gonna, when you're gonna make, when like I said, you, you're gonna cook your chicken the next day. Tomorrow's gonna be Wednesday, all right? You marinate the chicken today, which today is the 18th of August. You're gonna cook your chicken the 19th of August. So it's 24 hours, your chicken well soaked. Some people, when they're marinating their chicken, they put in olive oil or vegetable oil on the chicken and rub it up. You know what I mean? Because the oil do help you to get a massage. You know, like, if you go to the physio or to someone who do massage or do bodybuilding or something, what they do, they get the, the oil and rub in your skin. So that's what the chicken, when you put oil on the chicken, the chicken get to get a different, you know what I mean, texture to it, the chicken. So... When you do that and you put it into the container, seal it, put it in your fridge for 40, 24 hours. The next day when you're going to cook it, this is where everything change. Serious guys, everything going to be changed now. What you're going to do is simply get one white onion, some garlic, thyme and spring onion. Cut them up very small. Put on your, your, your medium size Dutch pack on the stove. Make it get a little bit hot, about three to three to four seconds on a medium size heat. Pop a, a teaspoon of vegetable oil or olive oil inside of it and salt. Take off all of those veg first. Every time when you're gonna cook meat, always do this, guys. I'm teaching you something. You never go wrong. Then your curry chicken will come out the best and taste the best and look the best. And I'm telling you, after you had your curry, then you add your chicken straight inside of that pot. Then you're gonna smell it. Your neighbor might come and knock on your door and say, Can I have some dinner? And then you can say to them, I learned this from Shuffle Corner. So, guys, thank you so much. I hopefully you enjoy the tips which I show you how to make curry chicken. And as I said, we have everything inside of the kitchen right here. You know what I mean? It's just a, it's amazing to know that some so, so many people are watching the program and continue watching the program. Um, we talk about washing meat. We talk about how to, you know what I mean? Do you never want to hear anything else, guys? If you want to ask me any question, you can also ask me any question if you do like. Because, you know what I mean? We want to take the show to our next level where a lot of people are going to listen to Chef Ricardo and the show. All right. So, we talk about curry chicken since that, which is brilliant. And um, we talk about where I learned my skill from, where I get my cooking techniques from, was in Jamaica. You know, man, any chef come from Jamaica, they are the best in the world. Are you the best? Are you from Jamaica? Let me know, because I don't know. 
Well, every chef that came from Jamaica, they are the best chef in the world. They, they, the quality, the, you know what I mean? Where did you get your pot that you use in your video? All right. To be honest, you know, guys, I do have a Dutch pot. You know what I mean? I never used my Dutch pot before in you know, none of my video. Most people don't know what is Dutch pot, you know what I mean? Especially in a foreign country, you know what I mean? They deal with certain kind of people. Some, some people do know what is a Dutch pot. But some people do not don't know. Um, where I get my my pot them, I normally go like a local big supermarket and buy my stuff. That's where I normally buy them. And they're really good. They they quality, you know what I mean? You know, and you know what I mean. Yeah, um, so that's that's where I normally get my stuff, you know what I mean? And the 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 local shop. Local supermarket, the local, um, yeah, local supermarket, like the big supermarket. You know what I mean? I know I'm gonna go there and we know I'm gonna get good stuff to buy. So, guys, I don't know what you think about the show. What do you think about the show since then? If it, it was good, yes, I know. Please let me know. Please let me know. I need to know that I can correct myself. If you think I'm talking rubbish, please write it below and I will read it and make myself, you know what I mean? How much do you? <laughs> to be honest, you know, I'll buy so many things so many times. You know, what I mean, if you need that, if if you need me to get a pot, you know, for you, just tell me and I can get a pot for you. Seriously, you know, what I mean, and um, this is the show where we're talking about we do help one another. You know, what I mean, um, I can get good pots. You know, what I mean, do you want to get a pot? Oh, you get them off of Amazon. Yeah, that's my shopping place. I shop on Amazon a lot. I love Amazon shopping. You know, what I mean. That's good. I give you a thumbs up for five. I give you a, uh, oh, let's go on the picture right here. I give you a thumbs up. Yay! That's good, 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 good. Amazon. Uh, yes, man. That's the key. Yeah, that's where you get your pot, Amazon. It should was. Uh, yeah. Um. So, yes, this show was amazing. Um. Thank you so much. Um. Yeah, um, but basically, I normally get my stuff them on Amazon, and it is good. Yeah, really, really good. And they said this show was amazing. Um, do you want me to talk about anything else? Just let Chef Ricardo know. This is my first time watching your live show. So far, so good. It is nice, interesting with you only up the channel. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Evie, uh, Evie 19. Oh, thank you so much. Keep it up. Um, do you have anything else which you want me to talk about? Just let Chef Ricardo know because, you know what I mean, I, I can stay on this show for another two more hours because at the moment, that's why we do the show live. Because we want to hear what other S people have, want to say, you know what I mean, um, some, we could be doing something different, you know what I mean, being here watching the show at the moment is really good because, you know what I mean, it could be somewhere else and something happen and at home, you're at home or on your phone watching Chef Ricardo Live. People keep ringing me, texting me and they say they like the show. So that's really good and, you know what I mean, and that's what we need. So does someone just text me again that they like the show and we appreciate them. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the show because it's just brilliant, you know what I mean? And... We have a lot more stuff coming. Do you want me, do you, so do you work as a chef? Yes, I do. Well, I do work as a chef and I work in, to be honest, in a school. I'm not gonna, you know I me mean, shy to talk. Um, I got full-time work and um, I do work differently. I work so many places. Um, I work in a fine dining restaurant and you know what I mean? Many places we work. So, and we cook food every day. And we do different dishes every day. Um, and uh, so we have a lot of stuff coming up which we need to share on the show that people can know about what's going on. Um, if, you're not, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please, guys, I want you to make me know that I can subscribe back to you on the show. That means you can be happy with watching Chef Ricardo. And please, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And please leave your comments. It's very important. It's very important. Your comments is very important. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, you need to. All right? 
That means when I'm doing my next show, you will be the first person to see Chef Ricardo live. And we want to reach out to you for the first person. So please, guys, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 definitely. Um, but um, to be honest, um, I have um, um, a new job show. I'm going to start September coming up, which is in a new school, which is about 500 kids. It's brilliant, but and I love it, so you know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? Um, um, I'm going to look at a fine dining restaurant tomorrow morning. I have a meeting with them 4 o'clock in the evening. They said they want to advertise my book in their restaurant because they heard about me and I'm going to do um, a show also inside of it, a cooking show for them. Um, but basically, I did, I did want to share something with you guys. On my YouTube channel, um, last year, 2014, was a good year. And that's why I said, guys, if you're not subscribed, you need to subscribe to the channel because you will miss out a lot of stuff when you don't subscribe to the YouTube channel. You will miss a lot of things. Um, last year, 2014, was a brilliant year for the Chef Ricardo. And I must share this with the team, with you guys, make you guys can know that if you have a YouTube channel, don't shy to put things on it. Put up things, you know what I mean? You know, last year, I was just working in, you know what I mean, in the school and one day I get my phone ring. I was at work and I get my phone ring. And when my phone ring, what function? No. Um, one of the first guys, um, hello, but I'm just getting a call at the moment because, hello, I'm live in on the show at the moment. Hello? Say if anyone and I say and live on uh, yeah at the moment I'm live on um, YouTube you know me we're doing the talking show at the moment so um you can log on watch me live and see what definitely what we're talking about at the moment uh, on YouTube so I'm live at the moment at the moment so are you happy with the show just let me know and you can text me I ring me back in the next five minutes um the show is brilliant and we have a lot of people watching the show a very interested show. And I know you guys will love it. So stay tuned and you know I mean keep in touch in the next five minutes time. So yes, last year 2014 was a brilliant year for Chef Ricardo, and I want to share this with you guys, let you guys know what's going on because you don't you don't know. Last year I was at work and I get my phone ring just like I just take up my phone, just like I just take up my phone. Now um, basically, sorry guys. Sorry, sorry, hello. Um, can you um I'm at the moment um in the show, so you can you can log on, get in touch with me on the show, and we can talk. Um so as I say, sorry about that guys, you know what I mean? Just to get confirm with them, let them know that I'm on the show because they're ringing up me asking me things about the show. <laughs> so yeah. Um so last year I was at work and just like what take up my phone like this. And when I answer my phone, I said, hello. And they say, this is, my name is Chef Ricardo. Please listen very carefully. And I said, yes, my name is Chef Ricardo. They said to me, are you interested to do an advert for a big company? And I said, oh, wow, that sounds really good. And then I said, I said, yes, why not? They said, okay, um, give me your email address. And I give them my email address and uh, ex to exchange number and everything. And they said, that's the number you can contact me on. And they contact me and said to me they want me to do an advert for them. And that was one of the best times in my whole entire life since I've been on this earth. And guys, I'm telling you, if you listen to the show right now, if you log on and you've been listening to Chef Ricardo, there's a video on my YouTube channel about this advert. It was one of the most brilliant, brilliant, brilliant experience in my whole entire life. I thought I was in Hollywood. Flaming by this big. There's about eight crew member was flaming me. And it's, it's just amazing. You know, so simple little things. And that's what I'm saying. YouTube to help a lot of people in this whole wide world. And YouTube helped me a lot. That time was one of the biggest time in my whole entire life. And from that day till today, I'm telling you, I'm doing a lot of advert. Sometimes, the other day, they ring me up and say, can I do an advert for Burger King? And... I missed out on the Burger King one, and they called, they ring me back and say, can I do an advert for um, Channel 4? But I know that there's a lot of stuff going to come in. So guys, if you have a YouTube channel, which I'm sharing with you at the moment, please 
upload your video, share your experience, share your things with us. You know what I mean? We willing to learn. You know what I mean? We are, we are here with our hand hoping while we, I want to learn. You know what I mean? I said to myself, cooking can never too much. Um, so if you, you know what I mean, then last year, June, July was a good year also for me. I win my chef award. My chef award last year, I win it and it was really good. Really, really, really good. Sorry. And you know what I mean? The chef award do change my life. Definitely. And it was just a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant time when I win my chef award. They launched me out into Babylon about almost 30 different kind of newspaper. Um, it was just crazy at the moment. I couldn't even take it. <laughs> it was crazy. So I was just feeling really happy and excited. You know what I mean? I've been in the newspaper, been all over the whole place. So that's what happened last year. Um, guys, if you think it is good watching the show this evening, as I said, we are happy to talk more stuff. If you have anything which you want to share with me, we have a lot of people sending a lot of requests saying thank you, Chef Ricardo, for your your time. And you know, I mean, you never watched my live on the show before. It's the first, and I'm happy that many people been getting to know me more and more. Um, please, if you do not subscribe to the YouTube channel, we are asking you. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please build your YouTube channel. Please share comments. It is very important. Nothing good like when you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and, and share your idea and make other else people know what you're doing. It is just brilliant for that, guys. So please don't waste time. Yeah? Time is very important and that's what we are talking about. Um, a few people, I subscribe back to them and... They yeah, subscribe to my channel. I wish I can see that. Thank you so much, every one of you guys. We are happy to have you on the show. Well, we did finish to talk about curry chicken, and you know what I mean? Curry chicken is really good, and as I said, we have a lot more stuff which we can also talk about. We want to talk about cow food. <laughs> Do you eat cow food? Yes or no? I don't know if you eat cow food, but you know what I mean? A lot of people don't like cow food. And do you like cow food? Let Chef Ricardo know. <laughs> we want to talk about cow food at one. Let's talk about cow food because cow food is good for men and is. <laughs> yes, someone said. <laughs> we love cow food. I love cow food. And you know what I mean? And I want to say. Um, cow food is the best. All right. When I grew up in Jamaica, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, make up from cow for man. <laughs> what, what, what was it? No, no, to be honest, cow food, cow food, yeah? You see, cow food, cow food is the toughest part of the cow to cook. And it's the best part of the cow to eat. It's cow food. A lot of people don't like cow food. They say, oh, I'm not going to eat the feet. I'm not going to do this. I have, I have so many people about cow food since I've been cooking. And a lot of people say, oh, I'm not going to eat cow food. This, uh, this, this is that. Uh, I say, oh, my days. Cow food is good. You know, but, uh, you know what I mean? Cow food is the toughest part of the cow. I'm, I'm not even the ox, not even the tail. Not even tough like the food part. But the cow food, we, the beauty with cow food, it is good for men. Man love cow food. Every man love cow food. I don't know about the woman, then, but I know every man love cow food. Them always said, oh, cow food, wow, I like the juice of cow food. Mommy love ju cow food juice. You know? We're going to talk about cow food. Let's talk about cow food. On the show, you know what I mean? A lot of people have been communicating with me on the show at the moment. Do you cook cow food at home? Yes or no? That's the question we are asking. I made a recipe. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Cold food, yeah, is tough. Yes or no? I want to know. Give me yes or no. I love cold food. I think it tastes good. Boy, law. <laughs> ah, the mercy. All right. That's what we are talking about. Cold food. We're going to talk about cold food for a couple of minutes. Do you think cold food is good for women? Yes or no? 
Write in the comments box, guys. We need to know. Because there's a lot of men say Corefoot is good for men. I don't know why they keep saying they like the juice of the Corefoot. You know, when they make Corefoot, there's a certain kind of ju juice, you know, man, that liquid that comes from the Corefoot, it's really thick. And, you know what I mean, it's like nutriment. It's thick. So, you said, yes or no, Corefoot good for men or women? Both are just men. I don't know. You let me know that. But with the Corefoot, guys, I'm telling you, Corefoot is tough, very hard to cook, but it's the best part of the cow. A lot of people, they, a lot of people say, oh, steak is nice. No. It's with cold food. When you eat cold food with rice, oh my days. It's something totally different, guys. It's amazing to have cold food with rice. Special white rice. It's amazing. Um, but basically, we want to say cold food, and we are going to talk about cold tail. You know what I mean? Cold tail is oxtail. A lot of people in the Caribbean do like oxtail. We, do you know what they eat the oxtail with? Yes. Yes. I know that. Um, yes, it is for... It is... It is... Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. TJ Linky. All right. All right. Listen, you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so, so much, man. Do you... <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. All right. Keep it low, man. All right. Well, well, welcome on the show still, you know what I mean? And you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Do you, um, do, do you think, do you, do you, um, what I want to simply say to you, make sure you guys, you subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure, please, please, please send me a face, Facebook request and, and, um, um, hold on guys, it's just a second, you know what I mean? I just answer my phone. Someone might be ringing me, asking me a question about, and, Hello? Any problem, just let Chef Ricardo know. And we definitely, we will get it correct. Well, anyway, what we want to say. Um, <laughs> uh, we don't, we want to keep it clean. I want to keep it not too, you know what I mean? Please, guys, we want to keep it clean, you know what I mean? Because there's a lot, probably kids might have watched, you know what I mean? Probably people, you know what I mean? We have a lot of people lagging on the program and watching the program. But anyway, if you do that, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You need to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You need to please send Facebook requests. Make we add you on the Facebook link and the like page. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Um, once you look for Chef Ricardo, there are all of the link. Visit my blog website at chefricardocooking.com. Stay tuned. But we're gonna give you cold foot and cold tail oxtail. Hey, what are the first? Let's talk about oxtail because most people love oxtail, like myself. I love my oxtail. When you make your oxtail at home, do you cook it with bean, butter bean? Yes or no? Oxtail at all. When you cook your oxtail at all. When I'm cooking my oxtail at all, I normally cook it. When I cook it down and I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. I normally chuck like a tin of baked bean in it. Butter bean. I mean sorry, not baked bean, butter bean. Sorry guys. I love ox steel, and that's what we want to know. Yes. Say so, yes. All right. Me love ox steel too. And ox steel, when I make it ox steel at home, I normally put, when it finished, when we know the meat and a little bit cook, I normally add like a tin of butter bean inside of it to make it cook down with that juice and give it a lot of flavor. Do you put like dumpling in your butter bean? In your ox steel, sorry. Yes or no? I want to know if you put butter um, dumpling in it. We love dumpling. And when we make it back in the Caribbean, we normally serve it probably with rice and peas or probably um, white rice. It's really good. I love it with that two, two things, guys. It's just brilliant. Um, but the only, the, only, the only thing some people, when they cook, cook um, oxtail at home, they make it mash out too much. You know what I mean? Like too soft. You're not going to enjoy it that way. You know what I mean? You can cook your oxtail, but don't make it mash out too much. And you know, when you're making oxtail, do you, oh rice and peas. You no, know, yeah, top my life. Oh my god. Alright, when you when you're making your, your, your oxtail at home, yeah, and you're serving that rice and peas. Do you use coleslaw or mixed salad or some um stir fried veg or what you like it with? I don't know. But when I'm I like I don't like it tasty with um with some coleslaw uh, or the side or some mixed mixed vegetable. It's really good to go with some mixed vegetable. And um 
um, basically is really good. So, what do you think about, oh, of course, that, that nice one. Uh, and if, are you a chef? Yes or no? It seems like you're a chef, you know? If you're a chef, just let Chef Ricardo know, you know what I mean? Um, we could share a recipe together. <laughs> because, you know what I mean, I'm willing to learn. Willing, we, we, I'm willing to learn some new recipe. I need some new recipe, you know what I mean? Because I have recipe, but, you know what I mean, you can never too old to learn. You can have different kind of recipe to make other ass people. Remember, guys, please log on and um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And please leave your comments. Please, please, guys, it's very important. <clears throat> All right. Then call me, then <laughs> young man, young chef. <laughs> Young chef, all right. I'm a young chef. Thank you so much. All right, all right, all right, all right. Young chef. All right. My um, I got um. This is my number at the moment. If you want to get in touch with Chef Ricardo about any cooking skills techniques, my number is 079-448-0876. That's my number. Um. You can contact me, you can get me, you can get information, more information about Chef Ricardo. Um, um, I don't I don't know, but you can get in touch with me if anything you want to ask Chef Ricardo live um on private CR and that's my number. Um I'll write it in the description as so you guys can see. O seven nine four four eight zero eight seven. That's my telephone number. Get in touch with Chef Ricardo. But, as I say, the show is just, and I don't know, a lot of people, we might not have like 10,000 people like for one time, but we have a quite few people watching the show, people leaving their comments, people communicated, and that's what we need. I still go with rice and peas and costa. Um, today, someone did talk about fried chicken. What about fried chicken? KFC, <laughs> KFC style. Do you like fried chicken? Yes or no? I don't know. I mean, let Chef Ricardo know. What do you think about fried chicken? Um, fried chicken, fried chicken, fried chicken. Back in the Caribbean, a lot of people do have fried chicken with rice and peas. Yeah? Do you have recipe for purpose? All right, purpose. All right. Yes, it's on the YouTube channel, guys. So you have to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And when you subscribe to the YouTube channel, if you go with my channel, say, um, this, you know what I mean? If you want to write me or send me a message, subscribe to the channel or go to Facebook because on Facebook, a lot of people do send me one request from me about recipe. Much, you know what I mean? You can send me a Facebook request by Chef Ricardo Cooking and you can add me to your Facebook and I can, I can send you a recipe for that one. Are uh, yeah, it is nice, but I am. Um, it is not the most healthy. All right. Oh yeah, uh, you know that's true. You know, I never. You know, I mean, sometimes as I'm saying, you never can too old to learn. That's true. Because what happened with chicken? I love chick fried chicken, but as I say, it's not the most healthy option. You know, what I mean, you know, what I mean, there's better option. Um, with fried chicken, when you fry it, you know, you come with a lot of grease, man. Please, um, and if you do that, subscribe. Uh, subscribe to your channel just now. Where you say thank you so much. Thank you too for, like, for watching the program. We love you guys and, you know I mean, we appreciate you logging on the program. Uh, we have uh, quite a few people sending in messages and texts, phone ringing in. So we appreciate it. If you're not following me yet on my Facebook page, you need to follow me. You can send me a message on Facebook and we can send you straight direct. A recipe so all right basically what we want to simply say to you as she said that is um as i said that um basically fried chicken is not the most you know what i mean fried chicken is you, know, you have to be careful when you're eating fried chicken you know what i mean there's a lot of grease and a lot of oil but back in the Caribbean, a lot of people love it and um when when they eat it there i'm telling you it's just amazing you know that Fried chicken do really well. <laughs> Why? And a lot of people, when they eat fried chicken, I want to say, they normally go with rice and peas on a Sunday. Or, you know what I mean? What do you think about what? Do you make rice and peas at home? I was watching a chef the other day making rice and peas on YouTube. On YouTube. 
Just in terms of where he make or he make his rice and peas. He was using green peas and make his own rice and peas. Nothing done wrong, you know. I didn't say anything wrong with it, you know. I mean, that's the way he learned to make his rice and peas. But it's not a Jamaican rice and peas that one by using everybody love it. Yeah. Fried chicken, food. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Your soul. Alright. Yeah. Do you know that? Every one person up on this planet, chicken is one of the most important meat in the whole wide world. Chicken. Why chicken? Can someone tell me why so many people eat chicken? Please, please, I'm asking. Why so many people eat chicken in this world? I don't know. Why so many people eat chicken? I just don't. I can't. I'm, I'm still figuring it. I'm still wondering why so many people eat chicken chicken into this whole wide world chicken and rice i use basmatic rice yeah that's the rice i now want to use for my when i'm cooking i use basmatic rice and cook it's really good you know what i mean but oh you wash your basmatic rice when i'm washing my one i normally wash it really well because it do have a strong scent with it and you have to be careful when you're washing it you have to wash it very 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 good because it is a lovely and Nice. Yes, me too. I eat chicken because that is the first <laughs> in the side. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, can you write why people love right? Why people eat so much chicken? I don't know. Um, I don't like to learn. There's so many people eat chicken. It just it's just amazing to know that so many people been eating chicken in this whole wide world. I just don't know. But anyway, chicken is one of the most key points in this world. Not even mention KFC. KFC don't do beef. <laughs> KFC only do chicken. Can you imagine how much chicken KFC been doing in this whole wide world? KFC is everywhere, everywhere on this planet. And you, you just imagine KFC been doing chicken all the whole the whole nation upon this planet. So you can imagine how many people been eating chicken. Remember, KFC don't do um don't do beef, he's only do chicken. Uh, they eat so nice because <laughs> it's lovely uh, and nice. Um, eat it because it must be because it is lovely and nice. We so eat too much chicken. All right, here's someone just touching my pint and yeah, subscribe to the YouTube channel. All right, yes. Make sure you, you subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure you, you um, we, should, we shouldn't eat too much chicken. That's true. And I like that. We should not eat so much chicken. We eat too much chicken. That's the point. And that's what we want to hear from a long time. That's why I'm asking why people eating so much chicken. You know the reason why we need to stop eating a lot of chicken? Guess something what we need to eat now. Veg. Um... I don't know, one man said good things come to those who wait. So, a lot of people don't like to eat good things. They like to eat things like chicken, beef, lamb, pork. But sometimes we eat too much chicken. Sometimes we can't eat a little fish, you know, like some salmon. A lot of people don't like salmon still are, you know I mean? A lot of people don't like fish with bone. But you can eat some of that sometimes. It's not all the time you have to eat it. Sometimes you can eat something different. Um, so... I was saying why, as I said, I I I I, I love your channel too. Um, yeah, to, to vegetarian, I'm turning to vegetarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good, still. You know, I mean, you're turning to vegetarian. Um, when I'm when I'm working, I don't eat meat. I said to them, I'm a vegetarian. But to be honest, I eat meat. But I always said to them, I'm a vegetarian. I try to cut back on meat. You know, what I mean, salmon and veg. It's very good. Um, salmon is really, really, really good. And you know, what I mean, is 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 a lot of people. We need to start look into this really good. Start to eat a lot of veg and a lot of fish and cut back on some of the meat because too much meat is not good for us. I don't know what you, what you think about that, guys. If you think about meat is good for you, I don't think meat is good for you. Too much meat, yeah. You need a little protein, but not too much protein. You know, what I mean, you don't want to um, full up yourself with protein. Yeah, so. What do you think about veg? Like, 
you know what I mean? Cucumber, tomato, and all these things. It's really good, you know what I mean? And a little bit of carrot and broccoli, cauliflower, all these things. It's really good for you. So basically, this is just healthy. This is, you know what I mean? Um, that, well, I subscribe. Thank you so much for subscribing to the YouTube channel. I will definitely want to keep in touch with you. If you do not, if you do not, Add me on your Facebook. You need to add me on your Facebook and like my Facebook page. You can, you can see a lot of recipe will on my page, guys. For you to do, um, do you see that picture which I did on my, on my? I'm gonna ask you a question now, guys. Do you see this picture which I did on my? Um, um, I'm gonna tell you what I did a couple of days ago, which is just really 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 amazing um i did a fish two days ago and my my crate i did a jerk fish guys that jerk fish i did hope it is i can see more vegetarian for breakfast um oh wow so many things coming in one time okay food that okay the best all right and I have lost, have, okay, yeah, too bad, don't, okay, I, I don't have, I don't have, I have, okay, lovely, you have my, you know what I mean, we are, we're gonna, you're gonna ask me, gonna answer your question, just keep scoring and to probably about I subscribe to your channel ago. I wanna say the event 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 talking to you guys so the show is live and copy a problem with your oh, okay you live Yes, I mean it. Uh, okay.